several areas of concern, governance, budget and fiscal operations, school safety and security. A plan of action unveiled under orders from the state, Hempstead school officials setting out to rebuild the troubled school district with protocols that have eluded Hempstead for years. A blueprint for transformation that starts with governance. This is the behavior that has Chaotic meetings to be remedied with school board and superintendent training already underway on open meetings laws. <laughs> and for chronic violence, student IDs, an upgraded camera system, more safety officers, and an updated code of conduct and attendance policy in a district with one third of the senior class no shows. And to raise the paltry graduation rate, a plan to make a plan this year through focus groups, town hall meetings, parent workshops and a high school leadership team. All this rolled out just weeks after this scathing report by a state appointed monitor who says he'll help in its implementation. I am enormously hopeful, but this isn't about hopes and it isn't about plans. It's whether things are going to get done or not. Some of the improvements were started by Superintendent Shimon Warrenker, but shot down by a divided board while he was placed on forced leave. Trustees who helped bring Warrenker to Hempstead told us they're hopeful about the plan of action if the state demands accountability. The plan will now be executed by some of the same administrators who have presided over the district's shortcomings for years. The difference now, a state monitor will be reporting to all Albany, there are milestones to meet and a very public spotlight shining on the district. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. A spokesperson for the State Education Department says the commissioner will now review the plan and then work with the district to ensure it's implemented.